Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a CV or resume using ChatGPT, how to actually structure it in a really constructive way to get you the best results. As I get into this, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more hints and tips, and let's get started. Okay, so today we're going to be using ChatGPT to essentially create or improve our CVs, our resumes, right? So this is one that we've actually had on the channel before. Uh, we dressed up a, a resume to look you know, like this. Uh, it's got some obviously some fake data in there, but we're going to use this information to try and get ChatGPT to produce something even better. So let's go and head on over. Let's just minimize. Uh, I'll just bring that out of the screen for a second. Just pop it over there. So in ChatGPT here, okay, we can obviously have ChatGPT with the different models. I prefer the O3 model. Some people might prefer the, prefer the 4 row model uh, or the O4 mini, etc. I prefer the O3. I think that one typically works best for me. Um, and then we've got a job over here. Okay, now before we get into all of this, I think it's important to understand how we actually have to frame our prompt to ChatGPT. We couldn't just go straight to ChatGPT and say, can you improve my CV? Here it is, right? Because you're not really giving it enough information. So. What we're going to do is we're going to use this prompt and I'm going to walk you through it um, of how we can use it to optimize ChatGPT's output. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give ChatGPT a role. In fact, actually, it might be easier if I go ahead and show you this as we kind of build it out in ChatGPT, right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give ChatGPT a role. And the role is that we tell ChatGPT that it is an elite career strategist and resume optimization specialist with 15 plus years of executive recruitment experience across Fortune 500 companies and specialized in applicant tracking systems, ATS algorithms, okay? So that's the first thing. That's the first thing we're gonna do is we're basically gonna tell ChatGPT that. Then we're gonna give ChatGPT some context, okay? It needs to understand certain things. So to do that, we are going to put this in, okay, the context. Now the context here is that modern hiring processes, they rely heavily on automated screening and psychological triggers that determine which candidates advance, AT, right, advance, right? And 85% of resumes are rejected before human eyes ever really see them. So standard resume advice, it kind of fails to address the technical and psychological aspects of successful applications, right? So that's the context of what we're doing here okay and it's important that ChatGPT gets that the next thing on the list is to give it ChatGPT some instructions okay now the instructions might be a little daunting but let's go ahead and throw these in I'm gonna give some space here so the first thing that we want to do is we need to analyze you know some materials so let's go ahead and throw that in All right the first instruction is to analyze and transform the user's career materials through this proven methodology Okay, we're gonna come down another line. In fact, we're gonna come down a couple of lines here. And then we're going to start things off with the first piece of instruction, okay? Now, this is the initial assessment. So analyze the user's current resume text format uh, from between the resume and the end of resume and the specific job posting that they're actually targeting from between job posting and end of job posting, right? Conduct deep analysis of both documents to identify technical and psychological gaps, right? Now, the job, that's this one here. We're gonna get to that later, okay? So that's the first thing we're going to tell ChatGPT. We're gonna give this a couple more lines, okay? And then we're gonna add in the second thing, okay? And the second thing that we want, if I can grab it here, is this, right? So basically, it's the strategic optimization. So it needs to, or ChatGPT needs to evaluate resume structure. It needs content strength and ATS compatibility. It needs to identify critical improvement areas sorted by impact priority, right? Create keyword optimization tables matching job requirements to the user's experience transform basic job descriptions into compelling achievement statements using enhanced star methodology implement strategic content hierarchy based on position specific decision triggers okay that's our second thing the third thing that we need to add in is gonna be 
the deliverables. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put that into here. We'll paste it in. Now, number three is the deliverable creation. Okay, so produce an ATS optimized resume with properly weighted keywords and formatted for maximum readability. Generate a psychologically compelling cover letter that creates narrative, you know, or at least native inevitability connecting the candidate to, of course, the role, right? Then it's include submission, you know, strategies and follow up templates to maximize interview conversion. Okay, so that's our third. And then we need a fourth. I know this seems like a lot, right? Um, it, it, you know, it, it can be, but this is how ChatGPT works best. Uh, so let's uh, not do that. Let me stop that. Let me uh, actually stop that because we need to actually finish that again. So I'm just going to paste all that back in. I accidentally hit uh, <laughs> it go way too fast there. Anyway, um, so scrolling down here, uh, number four is implementation guidance, right? So basically provide comprehensive explanation of all changes with rationale. Instruct on um, you know, customization techniques for future kind of applications and further uh, confidence building they're taking points for interviews right that's your instructions that's the end of the instructions as indicated right here okay we're going to go down a couple more lines we are getting there i promise we now need to get uh, the output okay so the output is going to have also a few different components so we're going to put that into here scroll down so the output opens up like this okay and the first thing we want is the strategic assessment right ATS compatibility score right key opportunity areas position alignment analysis okay that's the first thing we're going to add in the second which is to optimize the actual resume um, so we're going to pull that one in oh, let me come back in here and this is a bit fiddly, but when you get there, it uh, does deliver the best results. Basically in here, and number two is optimized resume. And in square brackets, we literally say complete constructed resume in a code block for easy copy. Okay, then we're going to come down again. We're going to add in the cover letter next. And again, we're going to have the same. We want this to be kind of in a in a copy kind of uh, methodology. So we're going to go ahead and put that in. Uh, so again, cover letter. We want to complete cover letter in a code block for easy copy. And then we're going to come down a couple more lines. And then we are going to add the final kind of part here for the output anyway. OK, um, and so if we come in, put this in. Number four here is the application strategy, which basically submission recommendations, follow up protocols and interview preparedness guidance. And that's your end of your output from ChatGPT. But we aren't done just yet because we need to include our two pieces of missing information, which is our resume and of course the job posting, which we can put right at the bottom here again inside of our kind of square brackets okay so we come down a line i always hate chat gpt for this when you copy and paste stuff it's not the best but anyway there we go right so we want to put the resume here and we're going to put the job posting there okay so what we're going to do is we're going to grab my resume from over here okay we're just going to copy um this i think is probably the best way um and then I'm going to basically put that into here. I'm going to go down another couple of lines. We're going to add uh, the experience, which we're going to create from here. We're just going to copy all of that. There's uh, copy that. Again, we're going to put that under there. And so we have our kind of overview, our summary, our experience. Um, I will put in some notation in there as well. Well, we might actually have to give this some headers just for clarity's sake on it all as well. Education, down the line, paste that in. We have that. And then um, over here, I think we'll, we'll call this a professional experience. I'm just going to copy that across from there. And then our summary as well, and which will come right up into here. Okay, so that is our resume, right? We have our summary, we have our experiences, we then have our education, okay? And then we need to go ahead and put in our job posting, which we can get from here. Um, and here there is a description. So we're just going to basically come in here and we're gonna copy all of this. 
like so, and then come back to ChatGPT and paste it into there. Okay, so there we go, right? Our prompt is now ready, right? We've given ChatGPT a role, we've given it some context. We've then given it a list of instructions, the initial assessment, the strategic opt op our optimization, the deliverable creations, and the implementation guidance. We've then given it an output format, right? We want the assessment. We want the optimized resume in block format for copying. We want the cover letter for copying as well. And we want the application strategy. And then we've got the resume and then we've got the uh, job posting at the bottom there. And we'll go ahead and post it in to ChatGPT where it should then take a reasonable amount of time to think about this. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so it's still working, but as you can kind of see here, it's got our strategic assessment of our fake data. So ATS compatibility scores, only 38 out of 100 strong Excels and an as Excel and analytical keywords, but lacks the core supply chain, ERP and logistics language. Uh, optimization areas, and it gives us a list of things to do right here. Uh, and then of course, position alignment also in here as well. The optimized resume is then outputted here for copying as we can kind of see, and we can go through all of that. I'm not gonna go through it all in this, um, uh, video because again that it's irrelevant this data is fake data um, and then of course we have the cover letter as well and then it's got the strategy for the application of how you want to do this um, and it will go through all of those things from the submission recommendations uh, and then of course the follow-up protocols and then interview pre uh, preparation guidance and all that kind of stuff so basically this is going to allow you to optimize your resume for um, the exact job that you're going for. And you can repeat this process for every single job application. And what it'll do is it'll optimize your resume specifically for the job that's being posted and to hit all of the criteria, to get past all of the automatic processes to reach humanize and potentially even get that you know, interview conversion. And then of course, from there you has preparation guidance, things that you're gonna have to kind of make sure that you're fully aware of, et cetera, et cetera, for uh, making sure that you're ready for the actual interview process itself. So yeah, that's how you would basically use ChatGPT to create a CV or a resume um, pretty quickly if you have the right tools for the job. Now, I know that might have been a little bit complicated. There were a few different moving parts, lots of different ways to kind of talk to ChatGPT to give it all of the context, all of the information that it needs to deliver you the best results. You can let me know how you went or this, how this went for you down in the comments section. If you're looking for more hints and tips, do let me know. Other than that, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you all in the next one.